Hi, I'm Lizzie from the Professional Writing Academy and I'm here with Chris Fielden, author of How to Write a Short Story, Get Published and Make Money, and soon to be guest speaker on our Introduction to Writing Short Fiction course. Chris will share some short fiction writing tips and techniques with us today. Hi Chris. Hi Lizzie. Let's start with the cliches first. What are the most common misconceptions about short fiction writing? I think it's probably that it's easy to do, or it's easier to do than writing a novel. And while from a time perspective, it probably is easier to do, it, it's an art in itself. And I think unless you've written extensively and practiced that art, it's actually quite a difficult market to break into successfully. Um, funnily enough, I was researching videos on this subject matter earlier today for something I put together on my site. Uh, there are a couple of really good uh, interviews, one with Stephen King, because obviously he started off as a short story writer and then developed into novels. And there's another one with uh, Roald Dahl, which was a lot of people like writing or trying to write children's short stories and that market is possibly the hardest ones to break into and he's talking about why it's so difficult his experiences with it because obviously he was very successful with kids stories so it's worth hopping on youtube and having a look at those is it important to be aware of genres in short fiction do you need to take a different approach for different genres that's a, a little bit subjective to be honest i think it depends on who you're writing for um, one thing the writers do tend to get wrong quite a lot is they don't do any market research before submitting to a competition or a magazine. And I think if, if say you want to write sci-fi, for example, you still need to look at the market you're intending to submit to. You need to look at what they want, read back issues, look at their submission guidelines, and uh, uh, take the time to research the market properly. In my opinion, genre isn't that important. The core of how you write a good short story is the same, really, no matter how what, uh, what genre you're writing in. And that is that the story is the most important thing. And say it's horror, horror should uh, complement a really good story and have its place with it. Same with humor, same with sci-fi, romance, all of it. You need the strong characters, the story arc. And, and the story is the key. And I think, yeah, that's the same for any genre, really. We also have writers interested in nonfiction, and this question is for them. How can learning short fiction techniques help if I'm writing short factual pieces, specifically travel or nature writing? I think it, if you write fiction, it, it allows you to explore uh, describing scenes, places, uh, hooking the reader in with description and if you if you want to do for example travel writing you need to give the reader a sense of place uh, what you're writing about where it is the culture what they might enjoy there and if you if you write a lot of fiction it can help with that kind of descriptive technique when you think of something that isn't real you have to try and find ways of conveying it to the reader so they can picture it. And I think that side of it can really help with particularly travel writing. Last but not least, can you give us an example of a great short story all short fiction writers should read and why? Well, the funniest short story I've ever read, I think, is called Zombies on a Boat. And it's by um, Mel Chiavuco, who is in my writing group. And uh, that, that story is very clever in that it, it pushes the boundaries of taste. So it's not going to be to everyone's taste because some of the language in it is shocking. However, it's done on purpose as a parody of things like Twilight and stuff like that, and all the standard zombie films you've seen. And it's so badly written, so badly written on purpose. <laughs> if you want to learn about the kind of the craft, I think Roald Dahl, I know we already mentioned him, but his, if you look at Tales of the Unexpected and stuff like that, they are brilliant. And you can learn an awful lot from it. 
Um, Robert E. Howard is very good. He wrote Conan, most famous, famously. And if you read the, um, the Conan Chronicles, they're two books. The, the descriptive language in that is fantastic. The character, Conan, is actually quite over the top, really. But when you, uh, the way he's portrayed and the, the language he uses, it really absorbs you in the story. So that's a really good one to read. And Philip K. Dick, the other one. Um, if you like sci-fi, you'll like it. But I think if you look at the uh, the amount of films that have been made out of short stories, I think that stands testament to his imagination and the way he puts them forward. You know, like Minority Report and um, Blade Runner and Total Recall, are all based on the stories he's written. So he's a an incredibly inventive short story writer. So. There's a few to start you off with. There are so many. <laughs> Thank you. Those are some fantastic examples and extremely helpful advice. Thank you very much, Chris. You're welcome. No problem. Thanks for having me. If you want to know more about our introduction to writing short fiction course and possibly meet Chris in our online classroom, please go to www.profwritingacademy.com.